Good morning. Right, where are we? I don't know. We're in Beverly. Okay. Beverly in Yorkshire. The East Riding of Yorkshire. Um, yeah, we're just having a day out here. It's a lovely sunny day. First thing we need to do is have a toilet and then we're going to show you around a bit, aren't we? Yeah. Looking forward to this. Really looking forward to this. What are you filming, Mazzy? Some bird stars and they look wonderful. What did you call them? Morris dancers. Morris dancers. But they're all ladies, surely they're not called Morris dancers. Doris dancers? Doris dancers, that's what they'll probably be, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen a woman Morris dancer before? Well, I used to do it when I was young. Really? Yeah. Handbells. Best yet to come. First impressions? Oh, it's so lovely. Why is it lovely? Everyone seems so happy and joyful today. It's full of buskers, isn't it? Yeah, and full I love buskers. buskers. Apart from that dodgy man there, he wasn't right good. He was all right. He wasn't right good. <laughs> apparently, I'm just being told that this is the happiest place in yeah. Britain, apparently, to live. Yeah, we love the moon. We've smiled quite a bit, haven't we, since yeah. we got here? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> I've got a bad chest. So a hot dog's going to help? Yeah, because I, I had a... What have I got? A hay, hay fever. fever. I had a hay fever tablet and it's stuck in my chest, so I thought a bit of food might help it go down. Enjoy. Don't get it down your shirt. On your nose. <laughs> right, I'm taking you in somewhere now where I'm hoping we're going to see some nice things. It sounds good. It's a bit museum -y. It's called the <laughs> Treasure House. Yeah. It's got an art gallery and museum, a cafe, library, tourist information. It's a bit of everything, but we just want to look at good things. Yeah, you like art now, don't you? Admit it. Go on, admit I, it. I don't admit like it. art. I don't do art. <laughs> I do not do art. But I do do hoards and treasure and things like that. And it's called the treasure house, so you'd think it's going to have some kind of treasure. You better do. Finally found some treasures here, Mazzy. Some nice hammered coins, and over here, there's looks like hammered gold ones. Of course, they're real gold. So that's the gold coins, look. Iron Age gold coins. Over a hundred of them before Jesus was born, Mazzy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Not bad at all. And this really old sword. Ah, here we are. Bronze Age sword. I'll give you a second to guess what that is. It's gold. It's off a... No, I'm talking to them. <laughs> it's off a gold uh, sword pummel. It is a gold sword pummel, should I say. And that was found, just reading about it there. Yeah. 1,400 years ago. Yeah. Wow. Can't see it very well through here, but there's a lovely crucifix there with Jesus on it. Um... About 500 years old, and that was found in Stamford Bridge. I've been metal detecting there. I know. And that was found with a metal detector in Stamford Bridge before I went. I'll let you know because I would have found it myself. Sorry, what are you? What have you seen? Well, there's a picture of it on the. Picture oh yeah, the there back. is. Look, right at the back. Yeah. There you can get close-ups of them all. There's your sword pummel. Let me see the gold coin closer up as well. Yeah, one of the gold coins, and then that's a Roman coin on the end. Tell them what coin you found the other day on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> we were scouring, weren't we, for... Let me turn them round. We were on the beach scouring for pebbles and driftwood and things. And I found, for as art, found a coin. A really old coin. Very, very thin. And it must be 
My guess is it's medieval, maybe 13, 14, 1500s. But uh, yeah, found with the eyes on the beach, yeah, I've metal detected all around the coastline of Britain and never found one. But you were saying about how there's been like shipwrecks there and quite often the coins will wash out. There's been there. literally thousands. I think they estimate there's 100,000 shipwrecks between Newcastle and here. Wow. And Hull. And yeah, there's some treasure on some of them and some of the coins wash up, including gold ones. But the one I found was at the bottom of the cliff and the cliff's mm. eroding away constantly. It's really bad for it. And I think it's come out of the, out of the cliff. Finding a few gold little things now. Metal detecting finds. And that's 1701, an old gold guinea. But this one here, I like this, because that's an old Roman brooch of some kind. If you want to read about it there. Come on. You could have let me study it before you broke no. it into a hundred pieces. Buried treasure. We want to see how good Mazzy is at finding buried treasure. Now, there's a pot here. We've just found this very, very ancient Iron Age pot. And you've got to put it together, Mazzy. We could be here a while guys, I'll try and put some commentary over the top, over the top. So she's picked the one up next to her hand, she's tried to put it in. It doesn't quite fit that way, it's it still looks rocking. Like an ashtray now. You've got that wrong, you're gonna to have to try it again. Carry on, pick up another piece, try and get that in. She tries that one, she sticks it on the left, it doesn't fit there and it doesn't fit there. She hasn't fit a single piece in, she's absolutely rubbish. You haven't got anything, we're coming up to the home straight and Mazzy hasn't completed the pot. Rubbish. <laughs> We've got some swords. If you're very lucky and you go metal detecting, you can find a, an old sword. Yeah. This lucky, lucky person found five. Mick Carr and John Connell at South Cave in 2002. Read about it there, it's five swords from the time when the Romans attacked. 2,000 years old. Absolutely stunning. I love this one with the little beady colour things there, look. That's my favourite. Yes. That's quite nice as well. Anything with detail and that old. Yeah. Now that one's rubbish. You won't get very far in battle with that, would you? <laughs> what are you going to do? Shove him out of the way with it? Clump <laughs> him over the edge. So this is one of your first ever life jackets, guys. They used to be made out of cork. I'd feel safer with a cork one than the ones they have nowadays, wouldn't you? Them flimsy little plastic yeah. things and you have to pull a tube. I'd rather jump in water with that around me. I'd feel safer. Mazzy's just asked me what this is. It looks heavy. It does look heavy. Yeah. Now, looking at the picture, I haven't read anything about it, but I'm pretty sure it's what they used to wear as a harness. They'd get lowered down the cliff to steal um, birds' eggs. Oh no, that's not good, is it? It used to be a really, really big thing. They used to make a lot of money from these eggs. Um, but they're not allowed to do it now, but it was very dangerous because it was literally just a man dangling on a piece of rope. Yeah, you can see someone doing it there, look. I suppose many died doing it as well. I'm sure a lot died, yeah. In fact, reading there, it was banned in 1954. Oh. Haven't we been there? Where? Barmston Beach? Yeah, it sounds familiar. That's where we were the other day, getting... that was the uh, favourite beach. But that's where you found the coin? That's where I found the yeah. coin. That is where I found the coin. Yeah. Hey, this is amazing. Why? This, they found this there as well. What? Number 10, a stone axe head. Oh, wow. That was found on the beach in 1984. And that is where I found the, what I think is a medieval coin, a hammered coin. Honey. We have to go back there, We've don't we? have got to go back. I was just <laughs> going to say that. Pebble art. Pebble. She's even making pebble art in the museum. Yes. What are you making? An artistic sculpture of something that everybody's going to appreciate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look what I found. What have you found? See that, number one? Yeah. See what's inside it? Oh, one of the wicks you made. It's a wick. I used to make them. <laughs> At Hattersley's Narrow Fabrics in Keithley. Oh, but there's actual play. Well, this, no, this is going on about Beverly's industry. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, but yeah, the mills here will be very similar to the one I worked at in Keithley called uh, 
Hattersley's narrow fabrics, which made the wicks inside them. That little bit inside, can you see it? The little cotton scruffy bit? Yeah. Mazzy. I'm scavenging around in there. No, put it down. That's look, for the children to play with. Look at all with. the driftwood. I know, but it's not. Look at the size of that. It's for the children to play with. This is the children's play area, look. Okay. <laughs> you have to find your own. <laughs> so the bells are tolling for one o'clock. I've never heard such a long, weird toll for one o'clock. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we just came out of that museum. What did you think? <laughs> very small. Yeah. Very it small. Free. But it's free and it, it was just a nice way to spend half an hour, wasn't it? Half an hour, we're in there now. We weren't in there an hour, half an hour. Topped off with uh, an art exhibition at the end, which we didn't film. I don't film art exhibitions because they don't like you doing it, Mazzy. Yeah, with the flash on the camera, etc. Well, flash on the camera and copyright, it's mainly copyright, oh, really? because they have to get permission from every one of the artists to let you film in there. Oh, I see. I and it's too much hassle, so they don't bother. Anyway, moving on. They Morris dancers, darling. They're proper Morris dancers with a few Doris dancers thrown in with them. <laughs> so while we're in Beverly, yes. we should tell them about us art, oh, Mazzy. Yes. We've done more art. Yes. Uh, we've made ten more pictures. Art. While we're in Beverly. We've made 10 more pictures, which are now in his Etsy shop. Go over and check it out, Check guys. it out. Here's, here's a few pictures to give you a, a good idea of what we've been up and to. And reasonable prices. We're not the reasonable, at all. The reasonable, and we've got a lot better. Yes. We're getting better we've and better and better. We've gotten better, haven't yeah. we? <laughs> now, we've made 10. We've actually sold three of them already before we've even put them in this video. Uh, so get over, get there quick. And please buy us art. We need you to buy us art because we're good artists. And we want to crack on with some more. <laughs> and we want to make some more. So yeah, check them out, guys. And uh, support. It helps to support us on our trips, you see. And we, it's good. It's going to be worth a lot of money one day. Mhm. Mm yeah. So in the background there, you've got Beverly Minster. Yeah. That's what Beverly's most uh, famous for, the oh, Minster. Really? It's a very nice yeah. Minster, apparently. We were going to have a look inside, but something's kicking off. Yeah. There's either been a bomb scare or there's a wedding on, <laughs> something like, like that. Wedding, so we're not going in. No. So we've done museum, we've done art, yes. we're doing antiques now. That's my favourite. Antiques, <laughs> antiques, lots. Can I? Hmm? Can I have it? No. Oh, go on, let it me have it. Fit in the mode it will fit, it will fit. Look at this. <laughs> Handmade foosball. foosball. Yeah. Love it. How much is it? £55. £55, Mazzy. Uh, go on, go on. Instead, like. Right, let's have a quick quiz and I'll tell you the answer at the end of the video. What do you think this is? It's incredibly heavy. What's inside it, Mazzy? Is it like little balls or something? Um, it's squidgy. It's squidgy. I don't really know what it is. It's not like sand. Maybe it is Maybe it is sand. sand. Something like sand. That would make mm. sense. You've got like yeah. a little marble on top. And some and tassels. Tassels, that's a bit of a clue. <laughs> and I'll tell you what it is at the end of the video. Have a guess. I'm just checking out all these old military buttons. They're selling them for like £15 each. Mazzy, I've found hundreds of them in Germany. Quite a few in England, but uh, hundreds in Germany. £15 each. I love these. Look at these. They're a lot of money each. £775. Is it real? I imagine. A pair of flintlock pocket pistols. In fact, it's £775, or both of them for £1,400. Football programmes. I used to collect them, Mazzy. Did you keep them? No, I had hundreds of them. A lot of them signed, because I used to get them signed when I went to the matches. Oh, no. And I sold them at a car boot sale for next to nothing. But I had a really good collection. How I never got caught stealing them from Bradford City Football Club's shop, I never know. Bye. How much? £275. 
It is beautiful. That's really nice. I'd love to be able to play that. I think the noise what comes out of them is absolutely awful. Oh no! But I think I... you have to be pretty skilled to be able to play one. Yeah. It's beautiful. The old matchboxes there. I used to collect them when I was young. Did you? I collected everything. Football programmes, matchstick, matchboxes, beer mats. Did you do rubbers, anything? Conkers, like build anything? Marbles. Did I what? Build anything with them or use them for anything? Well, I just collected them in a box and filled garages up and sheds and lofts up and got my dad really mad. I didn't do all with them. That's not what collecting's about, is it? Honey, look behind you, look. Look down. What is it? It's a mandolin. A mandolin? It is, yeah. well done. How did you know that? Because I know. I always wanted a ukulele. Do you know what one is? A ukulele? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think. <laughs> do I? No, I don't, do I? Can we get it? Can we get it? Well, I've just seen a really nice one out I've, in the I've hallway. Seen that one as well. Yeah, they're lovely, isn't they? You know, my mum's got a really rubbish one in a caravan. It's not rubbish. It's rubbish. <laughs> I'd, I'd pay an extra few quid and get something like that. How much is that? £65. Pound. Oh, that's not bad. That's, that's not bad at all. I like that as well. That would have been head and handmade, wouldn't it? That's nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? I prefer the other one. Oh, do you? Much more detail on the other one. Yeah, but I do like the sails on this one. Sails? Why? How much is it? No, I reduced. mean the... <laughs> if it's been reduced, I'll like this one more as well. I like sail sign. Oh my goodness. Oh, you mean sales? Yes. What's the excitement? <laughs> what is it? Right, on my 365 trip I did, someone gave me a book. John yeah. John Mann gave me a book. He still watches his videos. Yeah. Look what I've just found. There's two uh, of them. It's the same book, there's two of them. Oh, uh, The Wishing Chair. The Wishing Chair is the best story of all time. Honestly, if you want to get your kids reading, this is the first book they should ever read. I still remember it, and I've now got a copy of my own, thanks to John Mann. Enid Blyton. There's some better things in here than in the museum. <laughs> Look at this. Alexander the Great coin. £195, silver. Wonderful. And at the back there, you've got a, a gold... Where's my finger? See it there? Yeah. A see gold, it. gold Roman coin. That's lovely. Six hundred and seventy-five pound. <gasps> but this cabinet is just full of Roman fibulas, old Roman coins, all for sale. Beautiful. Mammoth bone bracelet. Oh really? Mammoth bone bracelet. Well, 12,000 years old, only £38. <laughs> wow. £230, but it's very nice. 1830s to 1840s. Looks Chinese, doesn't it? It does look Chinese. Does um, it say? It doesn't say, no. Oh, look at the Georgian knife above it. Look, I just... Mm. Bone handle, sailor's knife. It's more like a museum, this, than yeah. an antique store. That's very nice. Do you like that? It's very detailed, isn't it? Do you know what it is? A uh, tea caddy? No. No. It's an art box. Really? It's an art box, £395. Wow, you spotted that. It's yeah. nice. Beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. £18, it's a shame you can't play. It is beautiful. It is, isn't it? What did you say? If I had a house with a yeah. kitchen in it. I'm not allowed in the kitchen, but I'd like this in it. It's mm. very retro, isn't it? £150. Pounds. Wow. I like it. Paint it to your own colour. Yeah. And it would suit me because it's more my height as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a few cases of John Smith's ink top. <laughs> Two cases in there. 20 cans in there. Oh, honey. It's not. And some chocolate biscuits in there. It's not an alcohol cabinet. What 
what is it? Not this. Yeah. It's an old shop till. Oh, really? Oh, make it ring. I can't really. No, you have to open no, the drawer. It is. How much? Oh, you say. <gasps> That's such a lovely sound, isn't it? How much do you think that would be? Um, 180. Forty-five pounds. No. Forty-five pounds. Oh my goodness. What is a penny black? Well, that won't be one of the best examples. It's only hundred pounds, but penny blacks were the first ever stamps, I think. Really? Yeah. I can't really see it. Oh, there we go. First ever stamps are the rarest stamp one of them, I don't know. Did you enjoy that? Fantastic, one of the best antique shops I've ever been in. Not the best, but some of the best old things in there. It's called, just called the Antique Centre, Beverly Antiques and Collectors Centre, right in the centre of Beverly. Get yourself there. Wonderful. Just one. Huh? <laughs> Only the one. I'm not driving. No, no, no. I might have ten. So we just popped in for a quick drink, haven't we? So the and what is it, you might remember, that down there, it is a Turkish doorstop. How many of you got that right? None. <laughs> Guess the price, that's the next one. Guess the price? Yeah. I don't even know myself, do you? 25 quid. <laughs>